Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've got a custom 1-6 scale Batman head here that I'm using on my Hot Toys Nightmare Batman. And this came about thanks to my buddy Glenn Page who sent me a DM one night. So I think I mentioned in a video or mentioned to Glenn because we chat a lot about how I was trying to find someone in the UK who could do repaints on head sculpts and stuff like that just because I've got a few bits here and there that could do with a touch up. One night Glenn sent me a DM with a link to Steve Bird's Facebook page and I saw the Batman stuff and my first thought was actually that I wanted someone in the UK to repaint my Art the Clown Trick or Treat Studios head which Steve did for me so I will be bringing you a video on that one soon but I saw his Batman stuff and I was actually trying to sell my Nightmare Batman here by Hot Toys for a long time I didn't try too hard to sell it because part of me kind of wanted to keep it but I'm just trying to get some space in the collection for new things and I'm still not 100% sure I'm going to keep this particular uh, Nightmare Batman figure because I could always use this head on the uh, regular suit Batman even though I'm using the Unreal Toys custom head on that one at the moment it'd be nice to have like something a bit more you know stubble heavy as you can see here uh, Steve goes pretty hard with the stubble I really like that though and I think it works good for the Nightmare Batman because he's out there in the desert well, not the desert, but you know, it's all sandy and dusty and yeah, it works pretty well with it. But yeah, Steve was nice enough uh, to send along one of these Batman heads to do a little review on. Uh, but it was uh, the Art the Clown figure that I initially sort of, you know, got that repainted by Steve and I'll bring you a video on that one really soon. So, yeah, this, uh, this is the head. Looks good, man. I asked Steve um, if there's anything I need to know as far as, you know, did he sculpt it? Is it a recast of something? What's the situation with it? And I'll have to show you on the screen uh, what he sent me because I'm not really familiar this with it. This is the screenshot he sent me. He says he gets the sculpts from AliExpress, which I've never heard of, but seem to be a place where you can get hands and clothing and uh, sculpts and stuff. So he gets them on there and then he paints them up. He does a damn fine job too. You have to be careful, there's a warning in the box when you get the head sculpt a piece of paper. I'll just show you that instead of trying to explain it. You can pause that and have a read. But it is very fragile, uh, so you have to unpack it carefully and definitely make sure you don't drop it. Um, it's a solid resin and not flexible, so please do not force it onto the body. Uh, put the neck connector on the body first. I have not fitted it to the body, so you may need to... I may need modding a bit, blah blah blah, but yeah, that's what you got to do, apparently. There was this part included, this little connection, but I didn't use it with the Nightmare Batman because the coat holds the head sculpt onto the body, and uh, it's not going anywhere. So if I was going to put it on uh, that version of Batman, I would have to... Man, look at that Heath Ledger. Forget about it. Look at that thing. Hey Catwoman. One six visage did the head sculpt on Instagram, check him out. Alright, get you some rotating base footage here. Start from about midway and then we'll zoom in. This is a custom coat from 16kit.com. Very nice. Much better than the hot toys coat they gave you, but definitely not the best option out there when it comes to a movie accurate coat for this figure. I'm not sure who it's made by, but I remember Justin showed one had a much nicer collar which is a really important area for this version of Batman if the collar doesn't look right on the coat then it just all doesn't work you know it's a pain in the butt I've never been fully satisfied with the collar area on this version it's not awful most people wouldn't care when they come in the room and look at it but it's just one of those things still not sure if I'm going to keep him so I'm you know I don't know if anyone out there watching has uh, a much better coat for this or can get one or whatever just get in touch with me and I'll sort something out with you I wouldn't mind upgrading the coat on this now that I've got this cool head sculpt alright now zoom in a bit more there's a really nice kind of slight wet look to the cowl on this I think this is more intended for the regular suit Batman because I've seen on Steve's Facebook page when he does the ones that are meant to be for the Nightmare Batman it has a kind of dusty look to it so I'm pretty sure this was not intended to go on a Nightmare Batman. 
I, you know, I still love it, I think it works. I'm pretty sure this was intended for the regular suit, so I'll show that too. But yeah, very nice. Let's give you some footage of the side profile. Got a lot of life in the eyes. And again, the human section of the face that's showing is very well painted. I do love this double. It was always lacking on the Hot Toys versions. This is a lot more gritty than real. Alright, now nice and close up, just on the front view here. It's actually worked out not too bad. I haven't used the connection. I'm literally just using the cape to hold it in place, um, which should be fine. Obviously, you're supposed to use the connection bit, which is here. Uh, it's just I'm not going to use... Well, I, I, maybe I will. I don't know what to do. I'm not sure. Because, like I said, this was obviously supposed to be for this look, because it's not all dusty looking like the one Steve does for the Nightmare Batman. So I'll probably just have to get a dusty version of him for the Nightmare Batman. But I still want to use my Unreal Customs head, which is here with the poseable neck. Because uh, that's an amazing piece of work by Lucky at Unreal Toys on Instagram. But I really like the gritty, stubbly look of this one. So I will get back to you on that in the future. But it's nice to have options. say I did a little Google image hunt for pictures of Ben Affleck in the suit I couldn't find any image where he was this stubbly where it was that intense but I really like it on the head sculpt and it's one of my favorite things maybe my favorite feature about it I do love the texture of the cowl uh, the intensity of the sculpt especially the side profile eyes are done really well but I think my favorite thing is the stubble but I really like it and I wouldn't change it if I was given the option to. I'd stick with this level of stubble. I just think it makes him look really intense and it's different from anything else in my Batman collection. But you could always ask Steve if he's doing your head sculpt to tone it down a bit or go even heavier. I'm sure he would be willing to accommodate thee. But I, I like it, man. I think it just makes it look super real. I really love the way this is looking. I think that's probably how he's going to have to go back on the shelf. Now I don't know what to do. But my Nightmare Batman again. I'm going to have to get in touch with Steve and try and get another one of these. Yep, that's just really nice. I like the proportions of it as well. So, yes, Steve, if you're watching, I need another one, mate. I need one for me, Nightmare Batman now. <laughs> nice and dusty looking. Because this is looking way too good not to use on this body. It's really come alive. It's really intense and real. What do you think, folks? I have installed the neck connector and I'm also relying on the custom cape here over the shoulders to hold it in place. Keep the head sculpt nice and secure. So it ain't going anywhere. But you do have to be careful when you're using the neck connector and installing it and be careful when you're pressing it down. I'm glad that the custom cape is nice and heavy and it's holding it in place. It's extra secure because of that. Well, 
man, it is looking amazing. So just go through it. You've got the Hot Toys BVS Batman, but I have repainted his suit a lighter grey. We've got a custom cape by Unreal Toys, one of the earliest ones they made. It's really, really nice. And now the newest addition is the head sculpt from Steve Bird on Facebook. And get in touch with Steve Bird. He can do you this version or the Nightmare Batman version. It's more dusty. I'm going to get my hands on one of those in the near future. But let me know your thoughts, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Next one I'll bring you will be the repainted Trick or Treat Studios Art the Clown head sculpt that's over there. And then we have a lot of alien content coming up on the channel. So let me know your thoughts, drop a like on it for me. It helps more people find the video. I'm sure a lot of people would be interested in seeing this. So go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram at dean 3 for plenty of pictures. And I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye bye.